Very often, people ask me how I practice. And I mean, this sort of thing, you don't even need your instrument. I could be sitting there, and usually I kind of sit there and I do a little bit of deep breathing so I can relax my body and I'm not thinking, uh, trying to relax my mind and clear it out. And I think about, for example, a preliminary thing, I might think about seeing a picture of me playing music, having a lot of joy playing music, having fun. I picture myself surrounded with good vibes or white light or whatever you want to call it. And at that point, I, I even practice long tones. I'll think, well, I'm going to practice my sound. How uh, much treble is in it? How, how much uh, mid-range? How much bass? Does it project? Is it, uh, what color is it? How dark is it? Uh, is it spread? Is it centered? Uh, those, those sorts of things would come in my mind. And at that point, I might practice the same thing. I might do 9, 7 on a tune like this. And I find whatever I make a mistake in my mind, the same happens with the saxophone or the piano or the guitar or the trumpet, the trombone, whatever instrument you're playing, because this video is for all instruments. And you could just take a look at your set of changes, unless you have them memorized, and you go through and you're practicing. And I find that when you don't have an instrument, so you can, uh, you even have to be more centered more concentrated. You can't doodle, play a hot lick, play a go, play a tune, or be enamored with your sound, physical sound that is, and you have to really be there. You can't think about what I'm going to have for lunch or that I'd like to uh, take my girlfriend out for dinner tonight or your wife or, or gee, my, uh, I'd have to give my son a ride to soccer. Uh, all those things you have to eliminate or keep turning the station back to the one that you're on which is practicing music. People ask me, do I practice yoga? I say, hell yeah, of course, all the time. This is yoga. This is Raja Yoga, mental. I have to be there physically, emotionally, uh, mentally, spiritually. All those, in, 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 in all uh, balanced with each other. And, I, and when I'm practicing this stuff, I do have an instrument. I used to see my fingers on a saxophone like this, mentally. Then I said, I don't need to do that, because if I just say the note F to a saxophone player, you can feel this something happening with this part of your body. Uh, so we already have the instrument. That's just excess baggage. Uh, but this is, this is a sort of thing that uh, why we're all addicted to playing this music, we're addicted to the moment. We're addicted to playing this, being in the present tense, playing this music. And all these exercises are meant not to get you out of the moment, which they can if you have to think about it. But once you get it down, it just frees you up so you don't have to think. And I'm not thinking about, gee, I don't like my read, or this weird acoustics in this room, or, or the... Uh, drummer's dragging or the drummer's rushing or the bass player's not doing what I want. All of that is interference. Uh, so you just get to the task at hand and great stuff to practice mentally. Mm -hmm.